The tennis world is rapidly running out of superlatives to describe Novak Djokovic's unbeaten run this year. Defeating Nadal in the Madrid final to earn his first win on clay in 10 attempts against the world number one, he took his sixth tournament of the year and has now beaten the Spaniard in three consecutive Masters 1000 finals. His achievements are simply stunning. Under the circumstances, I played one of the best matches uh, in my life, I think, and the best match on, on clay. So uh, it's really important for me to to have that win against him on his favorite surface uh, prior to the to this tournament in Rome and to the Roland Garros that is coming up. You don't even question yourself when things are going well. I think that's how he looked like and and has been playing sort of the last few months now, especially since Australia. And look, that he's been able to keep it up and. You know, beat me three times in a row, beat Rafa now three times in a row is an amazing achievement. It's a different level right now, and uh, to do it now, I think it's much tougher. It's been great, I think, uh, <clears throat> you know, something that wasn't really expected. It doesn't happen too often uh, nowadays in, in tennis because the depth's so strong, and that's what's, what's been impressive. You know, just the run itself is incredible, but he's answered the bell uh, quite a few times on some of the knocks that he's had over the years. I didn't expect... Uh, uh, that this run will go this far, but uh, I guess it's it's just a award of for for the dedication and for the work that uh, we put into. By saying we, I mean my team uh, of people that is doing the uh, part of the job great, and, and myself in the court. He looked so good on on whatever surface it was. Uh, really, really impressive. It's just incredible, unreal. And I, I hope he goes on. I mean, uh, I don't know where, where, he, where he's getting this energy from, but it's just great.